by the way, the journey to Islam. We say some people take their time coming to Islam. But it's not any different even after Islam. Your progress even after coming into Islam takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. There are some Sahaba who go from absolutely against Islam to completely in Allah's submission for Islam. And then there are some other companions of the Prophet ﷺ who struggled. They struggled. It was hard. It wasn't easy for them. It wasn't as... Not every Sahabi was Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Not everyone was Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. They weren't. People were at different levels. Why do you think the best generation, the best of all generations, when the ayat came about alcohol, when the ayat came about alcohol, they came one time or in stages? They came in stages. Can you imagine? These are the best people, the best believers of all the other generations that will ever come. And the best of all generations, Allah did not impose a drastic change on them collectively, immediately. He didn't expect that it would disappear all of a sudden, even though, even though in the final revelation that has to do with khamr, that has to do with alcohol and wine consumption, Allah Azza wa Jal describes it as rijsum min amal shaitan an abomination and evil from the work of the devil. Now I want you to think about this. If alcohol <coughs> has always been the work of the devil, even when Allah said, He didn't say it was haram yet, even then it was evil. Even then. Even when he said, at least don't be drunk when you what? When you pray. Even then, it was still the work of who? The devil. But Allah didn't say it yet. It was too much to handle for some people. So Allah was merciful to the believers, even around the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he allowed them to develop, to mature, and eventually gave them the final verdict, this is evil. This is an abomination. You need to stop altogether. What I'm trying to tell you is, nowadays you give da'wah to someone and you expect them to turn around and turn into a sahabi, or if not sahabi, sahabi at least a tabi'i, within 24 hours. Bro, I told you it's haram yesterday. Why are you still doing it, bro? Astaghfirullah al-Azim. These people don't even change, man. I already gave them da'wah. They didn't change. I already told them. I gave a whole 20 minute khutbah. And look, nothing changed. Man, can you like go read something about Nuh alayhi salam or something, dude? He has a right to say people don't change. <laughs> you don't have a right to say that. And by the way, it is not your words or my words that change people. It is not our words that change people. It is Allah that changes people. I start from here because this talk is supposed to be a balance between dunya and akhirah. And the first thing I want to share with you is sometimes in our da'wah, we kill the hopes of people. We expect too much from them too quickly. As a matter of fact, when you give someone da'wah, even as a Muslim who is in disobedience to Allah, <coughs> a lot of young guys came to me today and said, my friends in college, they drink. Muslim friends. They drink, they do drugs, and they do worse. And I'm trying to give them advice. What do I do? I don't know what to do with these guys. They don't want to come with me to Jumu'ah. They don't want to come with me to the masjid. I try to make them watch a YouTube video. They don't want to hear it. I don't know what to do with them. And you know what I say? You just need to be patient with them and keep giving them a reminder. And don't give up on them. Because you don't know which of your words are going to be planted inside their heart like a seed. And you don't know when that seed Allah will grow it. You don't know. Maybe it'll happen a year from now that the words you said to them click. Maybe it'll happen 10 years from now. Maybe it'll, it'll happen overnight. That is not up to us. Which is why in the very same ayah, when Allah towards the end, in this ayah of da'wah, what does He tell us? He tells us, Inna rabbaka huwa a'lam. Allah knows better who's guided and who's misguided. 